We are back with another virtual live interview for Star West. It's hard to believe we're already at Thursday. I know. It's almost know. over. I know. Sort of. Well, sort of. You got Friday. <laughs> yeah. You still got Friday, yep. right? So the Leadership Summit. Yes, Leadership tomorrow. Summit tomorrow. Okay. And there's a reception tonight where you guys kind of pick topics, is it right? Yes. Yeah, okay. we get together, we talk about what's on leaders' minds, yeah. and then we use those to be discussion topics for tomorrow at the right. summit. It's um, fun. And it looks like, I mean, conference in general, so for those of you that don't know, Jeff Payne, um, CEO, um, Coveros, and, you know, lots going on right now yes. in that space. Mm -hmm. Lots going on for TechWell and the events here. And, Absolutely. And, you know, what's happening. So some great attendance this year, it looks like, for those of you not here. Um, it looks like a record number of folks this year at the conferences. Definitely for our involvement, it's a record number, yeah. both in terms of participants, sponsors. Yeah. Sponsor the exhibit area yeah. is crazy. It is. This year, it's wild. We actually yeah. had to reconfigure it several times wow. to add uh, boost because the fire marshals were getting a little, you know, Worried. you can only do certain things. <laughs> so we had to work with them to reconfigure awesome. it a little bit to add some more. That's awesome. And then pre-conference training was way up as well. Really? So, yeah, it's been a great wow. show. That's awesome. And a lot of new things, too. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing, you guys try a lot of new things to, you know, for those that maybe have attended in the past, um, this year there's a lot of different opportunities. A lot of stuff. To be a part yeah, of. We're, we're trying to make it a lot more collaborative. Yeah. Right, from day yep. one. Yep. So that people kind of click and engage. Yeah. And carry through the whole time. Because yep. what we hear from all the attendees is, Obviously, the sessions are great. Yeah. The training is great. Right. But what they really get out of it is the peer-to-peer -peer discussions right. and talking about issues yep. and finding out you're not alone, right? Other yeah. people have these problems yeah. and how they're dealing with them. So yep. we've tried to add a lot more networking events. Yeah. We had a game night last night, which was really fun. I know. It was yeah. awesome. That's amazing. Had, we had a run. We had lean There's coffee. There's yoga I've seen. Yoga is yeah. here. You know, speed networking up yep. front. So lots of lots of stuff yeah. for people to do. Well, and I noticed there's so many things to do. I mean, you really can pick something that fits you. You know, early on there was some stuff for speakers, like you had a speaker mm -hmm. reception, yep. and there was a meetup for women who test. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there really was a lot Community of opportunities. Dinner Community dinner. Community dinner. For people who just wanted to go out to dinner together. Yeah, like yeah. it's great. And those things happen early in the week, like you said. So you kind of build those relationships over the entire week and mm -hmm. stick with those people. I've heard a lot of people say that you know, last year, the year before, they came and they met someone and they're here again and they That's reconnect great. and have the opportunity to, you know, have more conversation and discussion and things yeah. like that. So it's awesome. All fun. We love All, it. Yeah. We're very happy. It's just, yeah, it's just, and, and the energy is really good. You can mm -hmm. feel for those of you, again, not here, but really great energy and people seem very connected to what's happening and, you know, the content of what's going on. Are you anticipating, speaking of content, for... Mm your leaders coming up for Friday. Anything you think will be new? I know there's some topics that always come up. Yes, always some topics every year that come up. You right. know, how do I find the right people? Yeah. How do I keep the right people? Right. Yep. You know, how do I motivate those people that aren't the right people? Right. You know, what, <laughs> yeah. do do <laughs> what do I do with those What do I do with those There's people? always those, um, but there's always a couple out of the blue, mm -hmm. always. Yeah. And that... you can't predict them. You don't know what it's gonna be, but yeah. there's something in people's minds they're thinking yeah. And we'll find out tonight what it is that the yeah. you know, people in the audience are feeling like is a key issue right now. Yeah. So, I always think it's interesting. it's interesting to see kind of where people are at and kind of gauging and, um, you know, what topics are prevalent for them. But obviously another piece near and dear to your heart, um, both security and DevOps, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of yes. strategies for people. And those have um, seemed to continue and still be topics. It, it makes yes. me excited that people are engaging and care about those things like security. Mm -hmm. Like that's real important. Yes. Um, talked to someone yesterday. He was doing all the hacks of IoT devices where people aren't securing those. Mm -hmm. And, yep. you know, basically he said, you know, guess what the number one most hacked IoT device mm. is? Do you know? It's probably like your uh, your doorbell or your home automation. Yeah, it's your home yeah. cameras, yeah. like the cameras mm -hmm. inside your home. Yeah. 
He's like, it's crazy. You know, yeah. the stuff that we use to ironically try and protect us can be mm -hmm. the stuff that other people can get into and use against us. Yep. So um, anything in that space in terms of security or trends, I know Coveros and you guys do a lot of work with companies we around do. assisting mm -hmm. in the spaces of DevOps and security. Mm -hmm. Anything you guys are seeing there, patterns with some of the folks you're engaging with now? Yeah, two things. I mean, a lot of people have heard of DevSecOps, right? Yeah. That's what they're calling kind yep. of the, try to get the traditional security group integrated into yeah. the development process. A lot of organizations are struggling with that. Yeah. Um, and that's something that's real hot right now, mm -hmm. certainly. IoT security is very hot right now. It's kind of funny. Every time we roll out some new technology, yeah. for some reason, people just completely ignore security. Right. And, it's you know, crazy. there's nothing inherently different about no. securing IT devices than the traditional devices we've always right. secured. But for some reason, you know, yeah. people just throw the stuff out there and and it gets hacked into and it's not until everybody starts hacking into right. it that they get serious about it. Right. It's, it's kind of crazy. It is. I mean, to think, I mean, we should know enough about technology now to know that should be one of the first things mm -hmm. we think about, right, of, you know, how do we make sure it is secure, especially yeah. with things that are connected devices that Absolutely. talk to other things that are in your home that you're using. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's just... And, and so I think that education and awareness. Now, from a training standpoint, if someone says, you know, I want to get more knowledge, mm -hmm. I want to be more trained on DevSecOps and what that means and how to do it, are you guys offering some programs or courses we are. around that that people yeah. can attend or We've take? We've got, uh, and I gave one earlier this week, a mm -hmm. security testing class yeah. focused on, you know, how to think through and learn how to do security testing. Yeah. If you're a testing professional awesome. or you're a developer, that's great. We have, you know, secure development classes as well. A new class we have is a DevSecOps class. Oh, wow. To help That's people awesome. think through how to make that transition. Right. Uh, because everybody in the whole life cycle needs to understand security. It's like quality. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Just like you need whole team quality, you need whole, yeah. you know, team security. Ultimately. Absolutely. And yeah. we're not there yet. No. And thinking it's like, I heard this yesterday too. I mean, we really can't think of it as, oh, it's that team's job or there's exactly. a separate externalized yeah. group that worries about it. We all should. Exactly. I mean, we yep. absolutely all should worry about security. If people want to take those courses and they weren't here, um, do you guys bring them to them or we how do. can they engage in that if they're saying, yep, we actually need that in my mm -hmm. company? Yeah, we, we teach all of our classes in three ways. Uh, one is virtual, so we do have some nice. um, kind of public-based mm -hmm. virtual classes. You can sign up, sit at your desk. They're typically kind of half day, three half days, which are equivalent to about two days of content. Um, we teach a lot of our classes like that. Not all. If they're hands-on, it's really hard yeah. to do virtual. Yeah. Um, we do them on-site as well, and those we can do the on-site slash virtual or the hands-on classes as well. Okay. And then... Um, we do them at pre-conference at conferences, okay. which has become really popular. Yeah. The other thing that's really big right now is our hands-on classes. We've added on an, a coaching extension, oh. so you can go to the class, learn about it in yep. the kind of you know classroom environment, wow. but then the instructor will go back to you with you to your team nice. and work with you to make sure you can apply those things to your particular platform or application That's and we find that really like it really gets the people to understand the concepts yeah when they have to apply it to their particular problem no it's perfect right so you get the learning but then it's the actual doing you exactly. know of the learning yeah. and mm -hmm. applying so that it you know resonates and you remember it and the team's using it yep and the value I mean just when you're looking at ROI when you're trying to justify doing mm -hmm. those types of expenses or classes when you can say, yeah, we'll not only learn, but hey, we'll do something. Yeah, exactly. Inside the company that will help us as mm -hmm. a team. So that's yeah. great. Yeah. And now with a lot of the transformation, lots of changes coming in technology um, from a core standpoint too, um, I had heard before you guys were working on some learning paths or mm -hmm. like um, yes. some tracks of yes. learning for folks out there saying, I'm making a transition, you know, I want to follow a different career track or path mm -hmm. in my career. Maybe can you talk a little bit about how that works or how they engage with those learning tracks to be able yeah. to do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are rolling out what we call uh, learning journeys. Mm -hmm. And they're really a series of classes yep. that get you from one point to another. Mm -hmm. So they're role-based. 
So you can, one of them, for instance, is the you know, test automation track. Yep. If you're a manual tester and your goal is to learn automation, yep. you know, there's a series of classes you can take over time right. to get you to the next level, get you yeah. to where you want to get to. And we've That's got awesome. those around development, around test, around agile development, around DevOps, mm -hmm. you know, all, all the various roles in a cross-functional team. We're trying to provide a series of classes that can get you to the next level. Yeah. That's kind of the goal. So you have a path right. to follow, Yeah. right? And yeah. we sell those also to companies yeah. who are looking to put pathways, career development, if yeah. you will, in place for their people over time. Yeah. Well, that's great, too, because for folks out there, again, looking at transformation in your organization, moving to DevOps, you know, making some change to embrace more automation, those types of things, it sounds like as part of those transformation efforts, engaging mm -hmm. with these learning journeys or paths would be really helpful in moving the entire organization or teams forward as they're trying to do that as well. Yes. Yeah. I mean, transformation, you've got the process, yeah. right? You've got to transform. Yep. You typically have to transform the organizational structure, roles, yep responsibilities, you've got the people yeah. aspect, the transform their skills, they may need new skills or different yeah. skills. And then obviously you might need some automation or some yeah. technology to support what you're doing once you got your process in place. And, yeah. and we try to put all that in place when we do transformations at Covaris. Yeah, that's awesome. That's wonderful. Now, next thing up after this. So when we wrap up on Friday, there's something Star after West, this. Is that yeah. it? <laughs> you got you. There must be something after oh, yeah, this. There's, there's no after rest. That. You don't get to rest. It's not the holidays yet, no, right? No, it's not. Yes, yes. <laughs> so more coming up, right? So Star Canada. Mm -hmm. Star Canada in a couple of weeks in okay. Toronto. Perfect. Looking still room to that. if they want to go. Absolutely. There's yep. still room. So yes, sign check up. Check it out. Um, and mm -hmm. then if they. Um, Pre-conference trainings, those will be going on there yes. as well? Yes, mm -hmm. pre-conference trainings there okay. as well. So if people are interested and it kind of piqued your interest on in some of those trainings, that may be a good one. Go out on the website, so yes. the techwell.com. Techwell.com will have all that. Yep, so you can go out there and look at those things. Now, Jeff, if they have more questions or want to reach someone at Coveros to talk about how do I get on these learning journeys, how mm -hmm. do I get some of that assistance um, with our DevSecOps or um, our DevOps transformations, how can they get, what's the best way? Where do you want them to go? call me. I'll Just get you the right. You. I'll get you the right person. <laughs> yeah, that makes it easy. It's Jeff.Pain at Coveris.com. Yeah. You can find me on Twitter too. It's Perfect. Jeffrey E. Payne at Coveris, or Jeffrey E. Payne is my Twitter handle. Perfect. Any of those will work. Yeah, find yeah. Jeff. He'll help find you. Me. I won't give you my cell number. No, you know. or your social security. <laughs> yeah, or social security now, but. Rest Perfect. He knows yes. enough about that because he does security. Yes, so. exactly. I'm not giving you that. But. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. This Thank was you. great. This was great. Thanks. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. We'll be back later with more interviews and more sessions.